Hey guys. Today we gonna discuss hard disk and its working principle. Do you know how this hard disk works? How can it storage massive amount inside it? Let's us dig in. Well, the principle of data storage in the hard drive is very common one or zero. But actually involves several mechanical parts too. So, let us talk about mechanical parts. There are basically three mechanical parts involved here. First one is platter which is a round disc as you can see here. It consists basically three type of plate made of a layer of carbon, combination of cobalt, nickel, and aluminum. Since, nickel and cobalt mixture has high coercivity, which makes this platter high magnetized. On top of that carbon overcoating is done to protect the platter. The next part is arm or head and actuator. The head is mainly part of writing and scanning data on platter and actuator, which is made of voice coil, help the head to move. The movement of the head is due to Lorentz force, so if the forward current is applied. To reserve the head, we have to apply the backward current. Now to store the data on a platter, we use Faraday's law of magnetization. As this scanner move from left to right, if you see no spike in voltage then that means there is no data stored basically zero. And if a spike is there even in a negative, then there is a data stored basically one. One last tip the head never touches the platter, it just near as near possible. If it touches, it'll damage the platter. Nowadays, the distance between platter and head is just 5 to 10 nanotechnology which is smaller than most human viruses. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoy it, give it thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming video. Take care and goodbye.